What's up, everybody? I hope you're all doing good. We're in the first 24 hours of Whizbang's workshop. I hope you all are having as much fun as I am. Lots of things to go over, especially for those of you who've never had a Hearthstone expansion yet. Um, welcome. Here's some things that you should know for the first couple of days from the new expansion. Number one, I'm going to put links to all of these in the description. Um, and you might be following me on Twitter and seeing some of this data off curve has an amazing uh, collection of all the decks that are being played right now. You have every single class option here. Um, some of these decks are amazing. You can see the, uh, the Twitch replays on some of these. You can see the deck codes, obviously. Um, if you go on some of these, um, there will be some descriptions from the author of these decks that'll give you an idea of mulligans and win rates or what they're feeling on this deck. It's a really good resource. I, I think that you should bookmark this for every expansion. It's a great starter um, for you to be, you know, playing the new decks as they're coming through, checking out the new cards. Um, also, don't forget the deck recipes, the starter deck recipes. When you go into the game and you create a new deck with the classes, um, there's some really cool ones in there. The Paladin one, Divine Auras is amazing. Um, it's it's really fun. So also wanted to go over there is some known issues um, Quite a few since the release. Please take a look at this also. We'll link this in the description below um, One of the things I wanted to mention because this actually happened to me um, the uh, Let's see one here um, the the Lena shop manager signature card is being granted to some players before they are able to collect Lena on the rewards track. That the team is investigating the issue in resolution. So, before I opened any of the rewards track, the first signature card I got from the Mega Bundle was Lena, and then you know this is the card that you get uh, from the rewards track. So maybe we'll have some sort of uh, resolution to that. It's a bummer, but it's a really cool signature, so I'm not crazy upset about it. Um, but I only got one signature. It's that, and then I got the card in the rewards track. We'll see. Um, but there's a bunch of other things. There's a couple of bugs in the game. Game, um, that are causing some wonkiness so check this out in case you're seeing any situations that are coming up um, and they do update these you see it where they add them or they'll say they're resol resolved um, this is some of the stuff from last week um, it's a very good resource and it's the best resource to find so to go over what's the best thing right now if you're into hs replay like i am um, you know, they do not have a meta um, analysis right now. It's still too early. Um, give it a couple of days. Usually um, 24, 48 hours afterwards, we'll start seeing some data. But to look at the quick win weights here, um, Paladin and Hunter keep on going back and forth. Uh, that's something that I definitely saw. Um, the one thing that I'm shocked about is Druid went so low. Remember, these are just quick analysis. Last 24 hours, things are going to be silly and crazy or what have you. Um, Death Knight is still, you know, not as strong as everybody thought it was going to be. Warlock, you know, the Wheel of Death. People say that Wheel of Death was not that great um, of a card during the theory crafting and what have you. And, you know, it's still number four on the win rates. Uh, Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter decks are awesome. Um, very strong, very overpowered. And everybody was also saying um, during the theory crafting or what have you that Rogue was going to be very, very strong. I don't think it's there yet. You know, we need time for all of these decks um, to get a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more time, find the right meta. You know, there are much smarter people right now, uh, much better players than me, um, figuring out these combos and these uh, these intricacies of all of the decks, and I'm sure we'll see something soon. And then another thing, if you're looking for decks, you can go here. Like I said, HS Replay doesn't have all of the 100% accurate data, and in case you don't have anything that you're seeing on the off-curve document that I just showed you, of of course, Donkey.top has a lot of decks that you can go through right now. It gives you some quick win rates, how many games are being played, um, how much the dust costs. You know, one of the things that I'm seeing, and I like to do the budget-centric uh, decks videos. There is one coming out on Sunday, I promise you. Um, but the deck costs are not that crazy. 
um, you know, at the end of the meta uh, that we just saw, we were seeing some of these decks at like 15k, 20k um, dust, and now here's some here. Palin is doing great at below 3,000 dust. Um, Hunter. Hunter never had something um, below 10,000 dust recently. So really cool things that you can see. Um, maybe we have more of value centric meta um, coming up. We will see again. It's still too early. That's just a couple of quick tips. Um, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Like I said, I'll leave all the links in the description below. And if you like what I'm doing, please like and comment. And I will see you all in the next video.